I'm back. And that's just what it is. I'm Mike Powers, and by now you may have heard that Takashi 6 9 reportedly scored a $10 million record deal with his former label 10K Projects. The Latin Leprechaun will receive the payments in exchange for two albums once he's released from prison. Now, Takashi Snitch 9 was facing 47 years upstate, but it looks like hip hop's biggest snitch since 50 told the cops Black Child Stab Me will be home just in time for Christmas. Usually you'd wonder, how much did a guy have to tell in order to go from 47 years to time served? But in this case, we don't even have to speculate. We know for a fact that he brought down his whole crew, threw Cardi B under the bus and put that bitch in reverse and backed it up over Jim Jones for no good reason. And if you did any dirt between 2017 and yesterday, chances are he probably told on your ass too. Now I'm not saying it's easy to uphold the no snitch code when dangerous people are abducting you and threatening your life. But once you get pimped out to make music for a gang that's extorting you, you run to the cops, jump on the witness stand and start singing like Whitney. You have lost your right to call yourself a credible hip hop artist in good standing. Now trolls, outcasts and weirdos from the suburbs will more than likely embrace this clown with open arms by dropping his new shitty track right between Tyler, the creator and Taylor Swift. But what will hip hop do now that six nines lack of street credibility is no longer a rumor, but a verifiable fact Will radio stations and online outlets allow him to come in there and pick up where he left off and pretend that this fraud is somehow representative of hip hop culture. I hope not. Now we know most rappers claim to hate the police more than young MA hates mini skirts, but how's this going to work out for hip hop? But one of your biggest stars is the cops. And if you're part of his new crew, you better leave that loud pack at your baby mama's house, buckle your seatbelt, observe all traffic laws, pay for all the music you download and get rid of that jailbroken fire stick ASAP. Because honestly, kicking it with this guy would be like holding a gang meeting inside the prosecutor's living room. But let's look at the bright side with, with all the damage that flip nine has done to hip hop. Maybe we could turn this into a positive. Follow me. Let's think strategically. If we can get the cops to hold on to this guy until Christmas Eve, we may just find out who killed Tupac. But in the meantime, music venues are very skittish about booking the guy who's got a green light from both bloods and crips. My advice, do not book this walk-in tape recorder. Don't put in danger the lives and reputation of this beautiful hip hop community for a guy who should have never been allowed in the recording booth in the first place. Tell me what you think about Takashi 69 coming back in the comments below. And if you like my content, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, share and come back. This is Mike Powers.